Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Okay. And I'm going to launch the presentation. Is that still fine? Yeah. It's. Uh, I think it's. It's better just to uh, launch the. Uh... Yes. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. It's. It's appear there. Okay. Great. But it's not the full screen. Not the full screen. Ah. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, does it move there? Yeah. No. It's no. Fixed. Okay. So. Uh, uh, uh. So I will keep it that way. Maybe is it better now? Slide one. It's 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 fine now, but I don't know if it's uh, uh there is uh, uh the icon of uh, presenting the the uh, the PowerPoint. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how to make it better. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's we... working. Is, 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 uh, it's it's working. working. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so thanks a lot and uh, salam alaikum. So, uh, uh, hi to everybody. Thanks a lot for the invitation. Um, I'm going to to give. Um, some insights about um, what role the uh, public research can can play in the innovation process. Uh, so I'm working. I've been working in the field of knowledge and tech transfer for 30 years now. Um, I've been working in France for first in Toulouse, south of France, and I'm currently working for the University of Luxembourg. So I got a European experience. But um, I've been also working for the European Commission and in international collaborations, especially in uh, Africa and Asia as well. Um, so um, I will begin with um, the, the, some of the challenges that public research faces now. One of the main challenges is actually um, the society asks much from research, from public research now, and especially uh, the society expects that uh, public research has got a, and proves a positive impact on society and including uh, economy, of course. So the main issue is how do we create more value than only knowledge? Knowledge is very valuable and the uh, data is valuable as well. But we got to demonstrate we can create additional value, including financial and economic value from this new knowledge. Uh, in order to do so, we, we have to learn how to participate in the ecosystem, in our ecosystem, and the right ecosystem. So we have to consider the local size and regional size and bigger size. And <clears throat> universities and public research organizations have also, are also expected to improve the ecosystem and the innovation system. Um, for a university, for instance, that means also um, it has to find the right, the right equilibrium between um, blue sky research, free research, I would say, free to, to uh, we are free to, to look for new ideas, but also we have to find a balance with market driven activities. Okay, so obviously, uh, public research can be influenced by what the society and the private company expect. Um, in order to keep this balance, we have also to, to use uh, knowledge and tech transfer, that's KTT. Uh, specific tools. I will come back to that later. And finally, in order to monitor if we are doing it right, we need some metrics. We, we need also tools to measure our activities. Of course, this is a sort of a luxury needs because the first needs, and we can see that in Southeast Asia, Asia or in Africa, for instance, the first needs are actually, have we got enough resources, money, skills, human resources, uh, and of course, we need a favorable, a positive environment in order to get some excellent research. So I make the assumption we are in the, in the system uh, where we got all the money and the skills and the, the, the resources we need to provide very high level research. So this is my assumption. And I will, <clears throat> I will concentrate on the, the relationship to ecosystem, the KTT tools, so the knowledge transfer tools, and the, the question of the indicators. So <clears throat> talking about the ecosystem, uh, there is something very important about uh, the specificity of each ecosystem. So it's not um, a situation where we would have a one size fitting to everybody and all, okay? So that's what I mean by one size fits one. So the local contacts really matters. And that means also that it's not possible to take the MIT system, okay, or the Harvard system, and to bring it to 
you know. Uh, excuse me, uh, Chris, yeah. Professor yeah, yes. Chris. Uh, yes. Um, you share the screen. Are you changing the slides or only yes. one slide? No, no, I've been changing the slides. You can see no, uh, okay. that. And, uh, yeah. and I need to notify you, uh, there are elapse of time. Would you mind please to finalize your presentation within 10 minutes rather than 15 minutes? And this is, will be applicable for all the presenters. Yeah, that's fine. But can you see the slide or not? Yes, yeah, we see one slide. We see only one slide. Uh, the only the first time. one. Uh, the that's first a... one. You didn't, you didn't shift to second and third. I see you continue explaining, but only one slide is there. And still not? Dr. Christova, yeah. yeah. Sorry for interruption, oh. but uh, actually, it's only fixed for the uh, slide one. If it's if you, if you have it, uh, if, if this PDF, you cannot change. But if it's PowerPoint, <coughs> you can change it. You can just uh, um, make uh, it presented from <coughs> down. Yeah, I, I'm presenting the PowerPoint. I am I am changing on my screen. Uh, I will I will I will try another one. I will try something different. And um... yes, will be perfect because we need to uh, see your presentation. Of Thank course. you so much, Doctor. Um, is that better? Yeah, yes, now it's okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, now so change. That, that, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm showing the PDF then. It's not logical, but okay, let's go that way. Yeah, it's okay. You only, <coughs> you only just, uh, you only just uh, click on the slide when you just change. Okay, so that, that was the time, about the... Excuse yeah. me, about the time, as Doctor uh, Dr. Yeah. Uh, Hanadi told, it's only I will just, make it short. If, it, if it's better, you need to just uh, keep it 10 minutes. Yeah, don't worry, oh, I will do that. Thanks. So that was about the, the challenges I just mentioned. And um, <clears throat> so uh, I'm now talking about the ecosystem. So <clears throat> it's very important to consider the local uh, tech transfer conditions because the research and innovation are international by definition. And innovation is worldwide, but the execution, I mean, how we are going to really transfer, it's really related to the local uh, situation. And so we got to focus actually about what are the <clears throat> uh, companies we are working with? Are we working with small companies, big companies, startups, young companies, or even spin-off? That means uh, startups creating from the public research. And in order to do so, we need some uh, positive environment. Uh, for instance, we need some incubators or business accelerators, and we need access to funding. Private funding, so venture capital, or public funding. And the public can also bring support about management, coaching, and so on, okay? Um, to do so in a, in a public research environment, we find that it's very important to develop the spirit of entrepreneurship. And our main target for that will be the students, especially the P PhD students. And then we have also many um, PhD or young doctors, I mean, staying in the research lab and for doctor, postdoctoral studies, and they are also probably one of the best targets in order to uh, make them create new companies with intellectual property coming from their skills from the university of the public research organization. So about the ecosystem, the, the main message I would like to, to give you is you have to analyze it and to use the strength of this ecosystem. And this is mostly about talent, skills, human resources, and the network. Network with a within the public research uh, system, of course, but also with companies and uh, accompanying structures. Okay, now um, let's have a look at the tools. The first comment I would like to make is that um, there are a great number of channels. So the channels, are, I'm not going to comment this in detail, that comes from a, a new publication from the Joint Research Center at the European Commission. And that's um, um, uh, a report about metrics, okay? And that was made by a group of experts I'm a member of. And so we, we tried to design here the different channels, the different ways in which you can get research outputs, which are basically new knowledge and skills to uh, existing users, which are basically companies, new companies, startups, spin out, spin off, or, or small SMEs and big companies, and also the society, including government and the privacy makers, okay? And you can see here, there are many ways. Dissemination through publication and teaching, uh, consultancy, okay? Networking, meeting, of course, and all the research classical tools, collaborations, um, contract services, and licensing, 
of course, intellectual property transfer. This is very important. So as there are many channels, you have also to, to deal with different tools. So these tools um, must be adapted to your strategy. And so <clears throat> according to a different public research organization or university, you will find and use different tools. Um, one of these tools is actually the policy, which policy you have for corroboration and uh, taking part in innovation. Then you have something about entrepreneurship. Of course, you have to raise awareness about entrepreneurship between um, the, the members of your research staff and the students. You need IP policy, so intellectual property policy, which is actually part of a global legal environment. So you need contracts, templates, licenses, and legal staff, legal skills. And as universities do not um, uh, exploit the directly the results, in many cases, you need dedicated structures for business, especially for spin-off creations. And finally, there is something very important, which is around the demonstration. So you need platforms to show what you can be, you can do, and you have also to get access to proof of concept. That means increase the, the technological readiness level of your results in order to show the companies they can use your results. The last topic <clears throat> um, is about indicators. So um, I will take one minute more to, to okay. let you know about uh, indicators. So there is um, today a quite complex typology of indicators about knowledge transfer and tech transfer, because you got to consider the inputs, what you put into your research and what you get out from these uh, research activities. Uh, but you are also to consider the context, internal and external context. And the problem is, okay, how are we going to gather all this data and who are going to use that? Uh, just one remark about impact, because this is very important. What is the impact of your research and tech transfer? This is difficult to follow and to monitor. And basically because it's not available within the academic perimeter. It, that must be taken from the um, economical sphere, from the industries, basically. So you will find in the same report, I'm not going to comment this, same, you got the source here. You, you can find the, the four types of indicators that would be useful. In conclusion, <clears throat> Um, I would remain with these four points. The first one is uh, the public research much understand and acknowledge its official and sometimes legal mission about uh, contributing to innovation. Then we got to define a strategy and decline some policies. You have to understand and use the local ecosystem and to integrate it in the regional and supra regional national systems. And I would end up with a positive remark about positive impact. I think we also have to think ethical. If you think about the previous presentation, it's talking about something very important, water, water consumption. And this is one of the example where research and public research can bring uh, very useful outputs for the society. And I would stop here. So thanks a lot. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Christopher. <laughs> Uh, really, it's a very nice topic, very valuable topic. This is a, uh, it comes of uh, great of experience. Uh, now we will transfer to the third uh, speaker, the, Mr. David T.